okay and then let's see it should be selected already that's fine no that's the other oh, there we go that one is the one capturing no one lives forever okay this should all be ready so here we go just need to move this up there we go and it should capture any second now why did it move down there we go for some reason the, the window jumped back to the center of the screen there we go really what a spy in harm's way <laughs> yeah that's the third time they made the jump uh, what? what the heck is going on with you 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 lagging okay task manager all right now you stop lagging let's see uh yeah as you can see in the lower right corner this is the version 1.4 aka the fan-made modernizer version or the fan-made modernized patch uh let's see why does it it again jump to the center of this how is this thing taking up so much graphical okay let's go to options then uh performance uh let's set this to high detail is that better no nope. oh, weird Let, let's hope that it's just in the menu here so yeah welcome to no one lives forever 2 a spy in arms way uh, let's again start on easy <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Chapter 1. Kate Art and she must die. Oh, yeah. This is... Okay. That's... Hmm. Uh, performance. What if we do it to low detail? Okay. That also shrank this, the window down entirely. Uh, display... Why, why did that get changed to 620? Okay, the game's being a bit iffy. We should be able to manage this with a bit of work. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, something VSync off, hardware cursor, windowed mode. Uh, let's drop the anti aliasing. I said drop, not raise it. Hmm. Why is it? Hmm. Let me see. Experimental setting. I never seen that one before. Okay, there's just extra stuff that the fans added in. I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. OBS. Where is list tag that he exceeded? Must be it. Set priority. Hi. Yes. Yeah. For you, you only hmm. lag when you're in game. Let's see. And also VC face set priority high there. Hmm. If the entire. Okay. Why is it? Why is the game lagging? Why is it running? You and the game are lagging. Whenever you activate the game. Let's see. Turn that off. Turn that off. Did it... This, this game shouldn't run this difficult. It's like almost 10 years old. Yeah. Or maybe that's because, uh, maybe it's because of that, that it's running late because, yeah, the, the, maybe the systems just don't uh, yeah, respond that well. Freeze cache assets. Let's do that. That should, that should mean that it will re preload everything so it doesn't have to load everything whilst it is running. Uh, try VSync. Okay. Uh, that would be on the display. VSync on. That helped. Okay, that's a rarity. Yeah, I, yeah I guess, you. Okay, I, what, I guess what's been going on then is something we've had before, that uh, the game is running faster than it should, uh, than it can actually handle. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
I think we only needed had V-Sync on once or twice before since I joined. Yeah, let's see. Subtitles on, blood on, always run, difficulty easy, hardware ammo text. Yeah, a lot of the, if I remember correctly, a lot of this extra stuff has been added through the modernizer pass. There we go. That's a lot better. Um, excuse me, miss. The director has requested an audience with you. Right, well, just tell him you'll be along shortly, then. Quite a different style you can see already, huh? Mother, you, you can't keep calling me at work. I have an operation to run. What am I supposed to do? You're never at home. How do you expect me to get in touch with you, carrier pigeon? Look, I've got to go. I haven't even told you why I called. Yes, well, maybe next time you'll get to the point instead of lambasting me for a quarter hour. Don't you hang up on me, do you hear me? I need a drink. You wanted to see me? Mr. Folkoff has requested your services. He's expecting someone to crash our little party tonight. He wants you to make our uninvited guest feel at home. Permanently. When will my debt be paid, Sensei? When I tell you it is. I promise we'll talk about it further. But first, Kate Archer must die. Yeah, quite a graphical upgrade already, huh? Let's see. Yeah, you did lower it as well, though. True. Let's see. Unity has sent Kate Archer to, yeah, to Japan to investigate a rumored international crime convention expected to take place in the pastoral village of Ino, Inutakimura. I, I think I actually got that right. I Her think you did. Uh, her objective is to photograph the meeting's participants without arousing their suspicion. Her first task is to locate Agent Is uh, Isuma Hattori, who will provide further information on her assignment. He Wait, hmm. you butchered what Isamu Hattori, not no, is Isumu. <laughs> Isamu Hattori, yeah. <laughs> I'm notoriously bad with uh, Japanese and Eastern names. Is one of... That, that was a name you 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 switched the A and U with each other. <laughs> yeah. So it's more of your less pronouncing issue, more of you switching the letters around. <laughs> Let's see who will provide further information on her assignment. He's waiting somewhere in the village. Okay, ta -ta -ta, if you don't check the mission menu. Okay. Uh, one thing I'll notice that I never played this game before, so this is a fresh run for all of us. Uh oh. I think this was. I did play a demo of this game, and I think that was this level, which makes sense, the first one being it. Yeah. Let's see here. I'll wait for you here. If I'm not back in an hour, clear out and contact headquarters. It's not like you to be cynical. Call it a hunch. Something about this assignment feels wrong. And yeah, they they changed her voice actor, sadly. Hatori san is waiting for you somewhere in the village. Okay, they The animation they, we all on low setting, aren't we? And it still looks damn good. Let's see. Uh, no, you're tech, high. All texture right. resolution is high. Okay, never mind. That explains why they look so good. Let's see. Let's turn those on. Let's see. Is that causing any dip or increase? Uh, on the side, I have I've said this a few times before. I, but I have the task manager open, set on the performance uh, tab, so I can keep track of how everything is running. So that's how I saw that this thing was taking up one hundred percent of the GPU. Which is a an RTX 2070. Here. Uh, what is the pickup button then? Uh, oh, and we actually have an an in an in mission intelligence tab now. Uh, let's see, system options controls configure. Da, 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 da. We can lean now. Okay. 
Uh, sneak is shift, jump is space as usual, sidestep. Yeah, it's no pickup. Yeah, interaction here. Fire, action, return. Oh, right trigger or right button. Mouse button, reload, change ammo. Okay. Bit odd, but it works. Agent Archer. Sometimes you will come across opportunities for bonus assignments which you can complete for additional skill points. Okay. Wait, stand still. Are those a pair of eyes next to the paper? Uh, th th I think those are windows in the distance. <laughs> but they do look like eyes a bit. Like with a bit of a wizard hat on top of it. No, no, you're looking at all, right next to the paper. I see two dots. Yeah, above that, may, the roof makes it look like a bit like a wizard's hat or a cone or something. It's in the wall. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing something to the right of the paper. Okay. <laughs> Oh, well then. Are we both going insane? Maybe. But then again, who said we were ever sane to begin with? Bro, I used to introduce myself as the crazy Swede. <laughs> Let's see. Keep your eyes open for intelligent items such as notes, briefcases, or letters. Here's a simple optional objective for practice. I've scattered six pages from the Unity field manual throughout the general area. Collect them all before moving on. Santa, Director of Gadgetry Unity <laughs> Toymaker Division. <laughs> Ooh. When you target an object or character you can interact with, text will appear at the center of the screen to indicate what will happen when you press the action button. Default right mouse button. They could have had this pop up a bit earlier. Uh, if the text is grayed out, you cannot interact with the item until some condition is met. For example, you may have to unlock a door or acquire a necessary inventory item. The action button will reload your currently selected weapon, assuming it can be reloaded. <clears throat> if nothing is targeted. And we have four. Okay. We have forty oh. skill points. I. S uh, the, it. Wait. That's. It's me, it. Santa. Say hello to the Mark Seven mechanized miner bird. Perfect way for me to communicate with you in the field. Now then, anything I can do for you? What the heck? Okay, uh, one point what? for the people who say birds aren't real. What, what <laughs> my bonus balls is this? Uh, I'd say a blackbird. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Who says birds are not real? Yeah, there are pe there's a... I, I actually don't know if they're serious or not, but there is a group of people online who claim that birds are all robots and never existed in the first place or something. Oh, uh, oh, lob, lob. Just lob them in with the flat earthers and such. If you're unsure what to do next, consult the mission status screen. Unless an objective is marked optional, you must accomplish it in order to complete your mission. On certain missions, you may also receive parameters, which are general guidelines or rules of conduct. Violate them at your own risk. That covers the basics. <laughs> I like that they kept his voice actor, though. Ooh, the equipment screen shows you a complete list of the weapons and gadgets you're carrying. Choosing an item from this list will bring up a detailed description and a summary of available ammunition types or gadget functions, which can also be selected here. So I like how <laughs> in neither this or the previous game, Santa gives a fuck about the fourth wall. Okay, so you have abilities now. Let's see. Player. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. We have stealth, stamina, marksmanship, carrying, armor, weapons, gadgets, and search. Does it give a description? Okay. Let's see. Uh, improves your ability to escape from pursuers. Hiding and sneaking. Evasion. What is that? Let's see. Upgrade to like amateur a thousand you... points. That's going to take a lot. 
Yeah, this sounds like something you need in the last game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, it also gives... Let's see. Reduce the amount of noise you make when running. Reduces the time it takes for you to hide. So does it mean that we we now have certain spots that we could just hide in? Like with uh, <clears throat> Assassin's Creed or Sly Cooper? Wait, did, did Sly Cooper have hiding spots? I don't remember. We, we'll get to that series eventually. I think it has from the uh, game reviews i seen. And we have stamina with health. Of Reduces the effect of damage on your movement. Okay. Reduce the duration of continuing damage such as poison or fire. Increase the benefits of first aid kits. And reduces the amount of damage you take. Okay. So it... There, I'm guessing these will... Okay, I'm guessing all of these will get upgraded once we... Well, up, we, we upgrade these as a set, not uh, individually. We have marksmanship, accuracy, steadiness, improve the ability to hold the weapon steady while using a scope. And correction, decrease the time needed to correct your aim after moving or firing. I'm guessing it means the... Uh, we, we couldn't get it to work last time, but I guessing, I'm guessing that means the uh, dynamic crosshair would show that. Basically, yeah. if we're running, that our accuracy decreases, and this this will... This will determine how fast it will correct down to maximum accuracy. Yeah, and I know there's something weird here. You look at Moxmasip, correct? Yeah. Look at which name is highlighted in the odd, the play area. Yeah, that's because I have hovered, it, hovered oh. over it like this. Okay, okay. For a moment of thought, I know there's a bug. Let's see. Ammo capacity speaks for itself, and carrying increase your movement speeds while carrying bodies. I'm guess <laughs> I'm guessing uh, Kate has been uh, uh, going to the gym since last time. And we have armor, amount of armor you can wear, and the benefits from armor items. Okay. And we have weapons proficiency, increase the amount of damage you'll do. Okay. And reload time and switching. So far, all of these sound pretty good. Even the ones you might, on first uh, look, might, might think wouldn't be of too much use. Yeah, it, I had to say this. You, the, the percentage of how much it gets better by, they didn't need to do that. They didn't need to, but it's awesome. More games should do this. Yeah, just just show how much blood, how much of an upgrade something is. Yeah. People like numbers, just as long as it's not Excel levels of numbers. Yeah, that is it. From noon, need more explosives for stealth missions. <laughs> Let's see. Efficiency what? with effectiveness with gadgets. I'm guessing that just means they'll work faster. And time to prepare gadgets. Okay, this time this one might be a bit less useful, but we'll have to see what gadget we actually get. And we have search. Okay, how long it needs to take to search a target, and likelihood of finding useful items. Okay, so we can be a loot goblin now. Oh okay. dear. I'm liking this and, so far. Oh yeah, same here. I think I know what I spotted. That. Ah, uh, okay, now I see what you meant. I only saw the lights earlier. Be, searches, uh, yeah, be sure to search everywhere for important documents. Some may contain information vital to your current mission. Others may give you skill point rewards. Documents you pick up can be viewed at any time during a mission by accessing the intelligence uh, screen. Okay. I, I'm getting the feel that they're trying to go for like a deus ex light with this and hello. Is that yours? Okay, we're already set at running, so we press shift, we go to walking, and yeah, you, you can see that, you can see it change in the middle there. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that's actually quite nice, it's, it's, dif it's definitely different than the usual, well, four sticks that move <laughs> more and more outwards. 
Agent Archer, whenever possible, I will arrange to leave useful equipment or ammunition for you in the field. Keep an eye out for foil wrapped pinky <laughs> presents like this one. Uh, the coins you'll find in this package are worth more than their face value suggests, as you can throw them to distract enemies. You can even lure enemies away from their post by tossing a coin around the corner. We're in tonality. Okay. We didn't make... We made good use of the coins last time, but we didn't get uh, use them too much or too often. Unconscious enemies. Enemies that are knocked unconscious, such as by taser or sleeping gas, will eventually wake up. They may also be roused by the comrades. You can disarm the unconscious enemies by searching them, thereby eliminating them as a threat unless they obtain a replacement weapon. Very nice. Uh, like Very nice. Uh, all right, so as soon as here, I want to try to be, I want to try being a goblin. Are you sure about that noon? Are you sure about that? Uh, a fox goblin, that would be a, a new thing. <laughs> That is, that is also something, I think, that is missing in games, that you can bump into stuff to make noise. Yeah, the, why did they hear him? Uh, because Santa exists outside <laughs> the fourth wall. Let's see, searching, katana and sure can get. Oh, and to all clan members, we expect the spy to enter the village from the east where most of the best tourist attractions are concentrated, but it's also possible she'll approach from the direction of the falls. Please report to your assigned post promptly this evening. It is recommended you eat before your shift begins, and as our food budget was used up by last month's attack on the OC clan's headquarters. Uh, Haruko Murari, assistant administrator. Okay. And yeah, we are approaching from the falls, it seems. Oh dear. Public notice. A mandatory curfew is in effect tonight from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Residents caught out of doors during these hours will be dealt with severely. Uh, Katakuri Ninja Clan. Okay. I have to say this. I have easier time with Japanese names than the names of Chinese. For many Japanese names in pronunciation are mostly rather straightforward. While uh, apparently Chinese can be very rather... Deceiving. I mean, you first look at them, but I'll... some people say they can't see, see the difference between the uh, Chinese and Japanese name, but for me, they are extremely different. <laughs> okay. Uh, what the heck? The gadgets continue to be nice, like a spy camera in a big stick of lipstick. Uh, I said it. I, I, I kind of just from. I can't believe I say this already now, just this early on. I kind of hope they make a new one for this, these games. Yeah, this is the, the first one was just a classic. And this one is promising to be hella good as well. Just really... <laughs> your flashlight is a keychain. <laughs> a faulty keychain. Yeah, and it's just Unity, like... It's not gonna a lot is suspicious. What the heck is that? It's a it's a taser hidden in a box in, in a makeup box. Okay, sure. Clever. Also, I, I like that they added this up here, similar to like the Half Life games. Makes it uh, a lot easier to swap between stuff. Yeah, Wait, let's try and it's stomp even folks. more advanced than any elder games I've seen that you can do that with. Usually, one number has one weapon. His one number have a collection of weapons. I thought she was moving this way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have all of these here. We we found three of the pages so far. Let's 
try not to bump into that. I know there's someone else up ahead. She literally turned around the moment I was going to stun her and... Okay, that was... <laughs> that was far worse aim than the cursor was showing. Okay. Let's search you. Get one of our bolts back. Found a crushed cherry blossom. Okay, uh, how do we pick you up? Let's see, is there a special... Is there a special button for that? Interaction, holster, move, body. There we go. Okay, a little bit in the corner showing that we are carrying a body. And there we go. Okay, but be, it would probably be smarter to... Okay, it would probably be smarter to pick them up and then search them. But oh well. Let's see. Hiding. Whenever you enter a potential hiding place, the hiding place icon will appear at the bottom of your screen. If you stand perfectly still, you will momentarily become hidden. <clears throat> at which point, enemies won't see you, unless they're right upon you. You will stay hidden as long as you remain in the hiding place and don't move quickly or fire a weapon. If you can't hide be uh, because an enemy knows where you are, the icon will be crossed out. Okay, and that's that. Okay, we really need to... Let's see, are we moving? Hmm. Let's change a little something in the options here. Uh, not there. Controls. Game. Let's turn this off if we're going to try and be sneaky. Because I, again, I can't tell if we're running or not, if we're going fast or not whilst uh, crouched like this. Now, what? Yeah, there you are. And uh, I think Half-Life had it as well, that each uh, slot... Like I was going to say, uh, Half-Life had it like this as well, where you could... S where each of these windows had multiple things hidden under them. Okay. Mm. Um, can't escape. Let's try the shuriken See? that they... Ah! Yeah, I, I should have peeked better. I... Through the head again? <laughs> what if you'd gum, really? I, I, I'm guessing each enemy has the chance of just having random junk on them just for, well, the fun of it. It's... Oh dear. Let's take that. Heavy body armor. All right. Okay, I'm not seeing any more Santa birds. said you should poison your man every morning before he leaves tell him he can have the antidote when he comes home what poison should i use i'm sure my grandmother can give you something she doesn't need it anymore she's not worried about your grandfather running away he can't he's paralyzed you have to be very careful with the dosage really uh, people don't take dating advice from these two or I from the other one. Okay. Where's the, there's one. Okay. Uh, coin time. Can they hear it over here? Hey. 
Now we hear one behind them. Uh, she saw but you. I, I think I threw the coin too close to her and that set her off. Oh, wait, another one of you. Okay. Now uh, we're... Okay, that, that was all three of them. <laughs> and as usual, <laughs> my stuff sucks. You're in trouble yeah. Now. Yo, who's in trouble now? Yeah. I've praised this game so far, dude. Some of the voice acting from the Ninjas and the other ancient, ancient, I felt a rather... Um... Yeah, this was the know. 2000s. <laughs> yeah, like... Yes, Japanese have an accent, though. I don't know, if it sounds really odd. Okay, leaving an area part one. When you see a door icon, it means you are approaching the end of an area. Try to move forward to exit, but only if you've finished exploring. Oop. Yeah, I think you can say is the, the accent here sounds like it doesn't sound proper. Yeah, so, hiding spots. No need for and it, though. Actually, yeah. It actually comes off sounded very cheesy. Yeah, this series is based on 60s spy movies, so it's a bit it is rather fitting. The, but, there it is. Naga, Nagoya Ben is an amazingly funny Japanese accent. I'm not familiar with that one. Can't say I'm either. Uh, let's see. Searching. Enemies often carry valuable items such as ammunition, armor, first aid, or important documents, so be sure to search them thoroughly by holding down the action button until the progress bar disappears. You may want to move your victims into the shadows before searching them to avoid drawing unwanted attention. You can also search filing cabinets and stacks of paper for hints and useful intelligence items. It is often by searching that you will find bonus objectives. Okay. So we can find objectives in the middle of a mission. Yeah. Uh we should probably hide these bodies. I, I think I, I think if we leave the area, then nobody will be coming across here. But, wait, what? Name? So Japanese say it is like a cat talks Japanese. Do you want to go shopping in Nagoya this weekend? I can't. I have an assassination. Get Haruko to do it. She's still mad at me about her cat. What about Yuki? I'll ask her. Let me know. Really? More cats and... It's only they actually dro accidentally dropped the accent. Oh, come on, Helian, really? Wait, she's went. Yeah, but... How oh, did the other fake? one get set off? Yep. Completely missed. Okay, then. I, I was trying. Okay. I guess you have to be a bit specific about where you click to pick them up. Okay. Uh, Agent Archer, I have left you instructions for how and where to contact me. For security reasons, I've placed four encoded notes around the neighborhood, each of which contains a portion of the message. That way, if one of the notes is intercepted and decoded, my safety will not be comp compromised. I also left a present for you near a vending machine. Isamu uh, Hattori. Okay. Search you. Get take all of your weapons. There you go. And yeah, she will eventually wake up. Oh, hello. Attention all clan members, be on the lookout for Unity Agent Kate Archer. She is to be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Report any sightings to, Taka uh, to Takashi-san at once. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, if we put her down here, she should be hidden. I'm not going to put her there. Okay, when we can pick someone up, the icon appears in the in the lower right, lower lower left corner. Ugh. Okay. So we need to find four of those messages, which is a bit similar to that hopscotch uh, thing we did. So As she already saw us. You know, even on easy, it's not, well, too easy to hide. You may be bad at stealth, but you... Your accuracy with a uh, crossbow is terrifying. <laughs> there we go. Just pull that straight out of her freaking brain. Okay, she has, she has bandages in case we need it. What's that damn thing in her eye? <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure how I would feel living in, in places like this myself, because it could <laughs> it would probably end up feeling plenty claustrophobic in a lot of places. Compass. In addition to keeping your or you or yeah, oriented within the environment, your compass will provide useful information. The objective, I objective icon will direct you to locations crucial to your mission. You may also occasionally see an X, which indicates waypoints or other important destinations. Also Wait. nice. Cluster of hope. Hey, Leon, how small is your room again? Uh, <laughs> eight square meters. But I meant more with the, the distance between houses and such. Because Japan is a relatively, uh, well, relatively considered. Japan is highly densely uh, populated, so housing is very up close to each other and such. <laughs> yeah, you usually not this close. Uh, this is more of a village. Okay, we need a decoder or something for that. Hmm. Yeah, from what I know from... I got in a fight with my mom. It looks like she cut you pretty badly. She caught me by surprise. She's fast for her age. She must have been really mad. She thinks we don't dress properly for ninjas. I'm like, Mom, it's the 60s. Get used to it. And she's like, it's disrespectful. So I said, old people always say that. Uh-oh. Yeah, she went kind of crazy. She came flying across the room and started slashing at me. Finally, I fought her off, but I was worried I was going to accidentally stab her. That would have made her really mad. You better buy her some chocolates or something. Good idea. Wait, so her trying to murder you was her being not mad? <laughs> or, well, not <laughs> completely livid? Yeah, um, yeah, I feel like her mother sounds rather hypocritical. And I'm guessing that joke is somewhat to the fact to that they don't dress in black or blue like ninjas uh, would be or should be dressed as to actually be able to hide in the night. Let's see. Distractions. One of the most effective means of slipping past enemy agents is to distract them. For example, you can toss a coin down in a dark alley to lure guards away from their posts. If the threat of an intruder doesn't get their attention, the in in distinctive chime of loose chains on pavement surely will. If you don't have a coin, you can always improvise with your crossbow. Just don't cause too much of a ruckus or alarm your enemies. Did we actually... Did I actually pick up the coins? No, I forgot to pick them up. <laughs> so we literally what? just have a single dime to our name. Well, you can always walk back to find him. <laughs> no, I guess it is. Japanese villages are usually, not even the villages are this tightly packed. I, I think this is a bit more to do with uh, it being a spy game, that they tighten it up just because of that. Yeah. Let's see, Sense. there was something left. Oh, hello. Right, I was going to say is... 
They would want room for cars, wagons, and such for. Yeah, this is a bit cramped. Yeah. And uh, to elaborate a bit on what I said with the black and blue, uh, back in. Oh, that messaged something for us. So, hello. That's a new. Uh, back in the old times, uh, the, the stereotype is that ninjas would be dressed in black to try and hide in the darkness. Uh, that is actually wrong, because yeah, these days when you go outside... Uh, how did you... Due to light pollution these days, I, it looks to, uh, just the night looks black. There we go. I'm but sorry. back. I've got you. Wait, how did you? We just shot a. You... We just shot a shuriken with a crossbow bolt. Okay, let's fight fire with fire or shuriken with shuriken. Uh. Yeah, due to light pollution these days, the night uh, uh, looks black when you're, well, in darkness. But under moonlight, the uh, darkness would be more blue, or dark blue than black. So, at the time, ninjas actually wore dark blue to conceal themselves instead of black. Yeah, and also, dark blue worked in crowds as well. There's a bit more common color for people to wear. So you could also blend... You blend in at night, we also blend in with crowds. Codebreaker. Nice. So, yeah, if you wore all black, you would stand out in a crowd very much. Yeah, there's a lot of myths about ninjas and such, and I guess we killed off the two that were talking, so I guess we did Mom's job for her. Oh. But yeah, then also there were Ninja and Shinobi. I... I think, I, I think, I forgot if it was Shinobi or Ninjas that actually were assassins. For one was um, more just uh, espionage and all that. I think Ninjas were uh, both. Uh, I think Shinobi might just be a different name for Ninja to a degree. Could be plenty wrong well, about that. It, it might have been, been separate and became the same. Or something, I, I'm gonna have to look this up again sometime. Okay, we have a decoder hidden in this. Yeah, uh, from what I know, ninjas were mostly for espionage. Let's see, there are three mailboxes in front of the sweet shop. You must arrange them in specific sequence to signal, signal me. The red mailbox should be open. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm a bit unsure now about the assassination factor. Ready? Oh, you woke up. Yeah, if I remember right, Shinobis were way more commonly used than Ninjas. Like, Ninjas were used, but that's not as much as people would like to uh, think. The sh Shinobi, I think, was the one more commonly used. Yep. Okay, I hope we disarmed her this time. Where the hell did she get a new blade and <laughs> new shuriken from? Uh, but yeah, there. If you want to know more about ninjas and such, I'd recommend uh, looking up uh, which ninja from Gaijin Goomba. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Him, I've seen some of his recent videos about orcs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look for the sign with a crane near a vending machine. Okay. Uh, uh, Hilia, yeah, look at your points. Uh, almost at 1,000. All right. Let's see. West side would be this area here. This, oh, here it is. Red one should be open. Uh, I was going to say earlier, I, uh, there is a... There is an oriental shop. Uh, I I will call it that specifically because it's li literally in their name, oriental uh, something or other. 
there's an oriental supermarket that's in the region, I'd say. It's not actually in the area where I live, but I go there from time to time to get, uh, well, eastern snacks and such. And they have, they have really good fried snacks as well. I have one near me as well. I keep forgetting to visit it. It is a bit pricey, of course, but it's still plenty worth it, I'd say. Let's see. There are three mailboxes in front of the sweet shop. You must arrange them. Blue should be open. Okay. And this one then. I'm guessing the... Okay, I had a feeling that the last one should be closed then. Uh, let's see. Mission. Deliver briefcase. Recover all four pages of the manual. We haven't found one of them yet. I'm surprised they added the suffixes in this game. Let's see. I heard something. Stay alert. Okay, so we didn't get the ones? Or are they spawning in new air enemies or something? Sound the alarm! Ah! Wait, those are the alarms here? Ah! You'll pay for that. Ow. Ah! Oh. I used to say oh. behind you. <laughs> really? Ow. Oh! Yeah, well, the headshots are better. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm guessing when an alarm is raised that new enemies will spawn in areas nearby. <laughs> Just pull those things out of her side. Get some armor. Yeah. Also, I think the reason her mother complained is for the, how tight the outfits are. <laughs> Anemia would be wearing more baggy clothing. Let's see. To our clan members, it has come to my attention that some of you are dissatisfied with our current assignment. I realize that the director is not an especially pleasant person to work with, uh, to work for. But remember that Isako san owes him a death of honor. Yeah, please put aside your personal grudges for the sake of our clan. If you have trouble coping with your resentment, uh, Obab uh, Obaba will be available for counseling as soon as she finishes up her last batch of poison. <laughs> Mikiko uh, Shina, morale officer. Okay. Or morale officer, whatever. Uh, yeah, what? The game where I learned about the Japanese suffixes and such the most was uh, Persona 4, to be accurate. Okay, I, I learned from a manga. Uh, it's, it's really this publication of man several mangas in one. But there are several mangas in uh, each uh, month. Because it also added some facts on the side with uh, why, why I really love Hina, which was part of it. I learned those suffix things. Yeah. Even anyone where I got a uh, the Romanji Kanji uh, alphabet. Okay. So I I can actually read it right a little bit Japanese, use the Romanji kind, a bit more simplified version. Yeah. It looks like we can't really. Well, disable these ninjas permanently, so I guess we'll just have to, well, or non violently at least, so I guess we will just have to disable them permanently. Let's see, where's that last pit? Oh, here's the last of these. That was this lost. will talk about the white one, I'm guessing, or the gray one. Yeah, the gray mail box should be closed, but that still leaves the fourth manual page somewhere. Oh. Almost yes. enough. And we are placed for garbage. And the question will be then what do we upgrade? Hmm. Probably want to say stealth, but that might harm your pride. And yeah, if I keep getting spotted anyways, then it won't matter much. Hmm. 
Okay, where are you? Oh, oh message with... I was... I was thinking of the machine crane, not... <laughs> bird crane. I have bad news. They've moved the meeting. We'll have to find out where. Okay. Look for places where ninjas are gathered together. Uh, did we... Did we give you the... See, that's our equipment. Okay, we we gave him the briefcase. Yeah, you 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 leveled up. <laughs> spy training manual become a better spy in seven early steps. Two hundred for that. Okay, that that gets a lot but, of points. But Hibian, you have almost soon enough of leveling up twice. Uh, I'm guessing if we upgrade something, it'll take more points than to do that next time. Uh, for the moment, I think we might. It might be a good start to start with health, since well, it is still early on in the game, and it's likely that we'll get our asses kicked sooner or later. Yeah, yes. and apparently yeah. it improves first aid and toughness as well. Yeah, how much damage I we take, how much we heal from kits. Uh, yeah, and like a. Upgrade the skill to two thousand, so we can we can we can we can probably start with just going uh, quite spread out, but at some point we will have to well save up and do more of a focus on one thing or another. Yeah, most likely. And I, I have to say, I like that for upgrade stamina. It's not just simple health upgrade. It makes you. Literally tankier, more health, more toughness, better healing. Yep. And it also made the health bar bigger. Well, if you get more health, then it would make the health bar bigger, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you, often that isn't really done in shooters, that the health bar stays the same. Okay, can we get at least... Someone stand here. You're in and someone heard that. Really, more chewing gum. Are you alone here or nope? Wait, they said the ninjas gather. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's yeah, let's go around and see if we can get more info on that situation there. So yeah, eight steel holsters. Let's see. We still need to find that last page as well, somewhere. Ooh. Ammo box. Firebolt? You, you really like that thing, don't you? Just a taser in a box, but yeah, we could probably just move things along a lot quicker by just killing them. Actually, let's see, we have a toxic bolt, oh, fire bolts, and normal bolts. Okay. Of course, she moves the moment. Yep. Okay, that had a bit more of you know. Okay. I that that's less of a fireball and more just a bloody firework. Where did 
Where did you vanish to? Is he jump up on the roof or something? Yeah, I was looking for that, but apparently not. Where... <laughs> did you get so scared of seeing two of your sisters dead <laughs> that you ran off? Stun grenade. That would be useful against the uh, batch up ahead. Right. Shopping list. Just back. You don't have a chance. Oh. Behind you. That's still not the group over there. I was about to ask her. You can't just open that door, you know. No, I, I was about to say that must be all of them, then they make themselves known. Come back here, you. <laughs> uh, so much for the brave ninja. That's a funky little track for the combat here. Yeah. Like, here he goes. Yeah, I, I'm... Uh, plastic comb, okay. Let's just... I mean, let's it? not uh, go too hard with non-lethal stuff, because it slows us down a lot. Yeah. Uh, 60s. Uh, noon, 60s. Well, the, the first game supposedly uh, took place in 67, so this, would, this being a few years later, uh, might as well be 69. Make your own jokes there. So it is just about the 70s. Oh dear. Uh, oh, right. What was I have to say? I want to say something. I don't know what. <laughs> Let's see. Important. Please read. At the director's insistence, tonight's meeting has been moved to the main house. Please be sure to consult the revised guard post overview before reporting for duty to minimize confusing. Your confusion. If you will be patrolling an unfamiliar area, make sure to note the location of convenient restrooms. <laughs> okay. And you have enough to level up again. Let's see. What would be best to upgrade, though? Yes. Probably marksmanship. <laughs> Let's go with that, yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, wait. Good work. I'll mark the location of the meeting on this map. Let's see. That doesn't look like where we've been before. Okay. Follow me. And there we go, we transition to the next area. Okay. A 50% accuracy, not too bad. Let's see. The spy is here. Chapter, oh, chapter 2, Goodbye Spy. The spy is here. The meeting is scheduled to take place at the estate of an enigmatic uh, figure known only as the director. Kate will have to infiltrate the estate grounds, locate the main house, and find the window Hattori-san indicated on the map. This vantage should allow her to take the photographs she needs without exposing herself to unnecessary risk. Once she has obtained the photo, she must return to the bridge where Yamato-san is waiting. Unity Intercept team is standing by to evacuate her to Tokyo when the mission is complete. Okay. Let's Say, they are using a lot of weird. Says... Patrols are heavier in this part of town. But here's the thing. You only you you say son to someone that's older than you, or I think also been in a company longer than you even. That one I'm a bit unsure, but otherwise I think it's a bit more age age related thing. Hmm. So I thought son was more like a a general thing. Uh, yeah. I I gotta have to double check that for. I know they 
that you can drop the suffix if it's someone you've known for a while and friends with, that you don't need to use them at all. Uh, yeah, I know well, at least that Sean is to women uh, of similar or younger age, or just a... Uh, usually younger. Uh, usually younger. Okay. Sean is unisex. Kun and, and Sean, CH, Sean, are for people younger than you. So, technically, since I'm older than you, Helion, I, can, I could call you Helion Kun. <laughs> But due to how old we are, it would probably seem very disrespectful. Yeah. Uh, again, most of my information on this came from uh, Persona 4. And I, I don't really I don't really have feel a need or want to stream that game specifically, but I am very interested in uh, wanting to stream Persona 5. Though <laughs> Iliachi. <laughs> okay. But uh, Persona 5, uh, yeah, there's no way in hell we wouldn't be playing that without a sportless guide, because otherwise we'd just be banging our heads against the wall sooner or later as we fail things miserably over and over again. Uh, I know it's part of the appeal with those games that you have to run it multiple times to find better routes or so, uh, but for us streaming it, that would just be painful. Yeah, especially since the entire game is timed so to speak yeah okay but yeah moving on uh, da, da, da. agent archer always talk to people identified as friends to see if they have useful advice or information you may have to address them several times to hear everything they have to say okay it's safer to avoid them yes avoid the main gate too many guards good luck okay, yeah i feel they, like me oh yep. sorry i want to say I feel like we are going to have many things where stealth is better. Probably, yeah. Uh, we will have to upgrade it a bit eventually. For now, I'm going to focus more on combat. Let's see. The CT-180 uh, utility launcher is one of our most versatile tools. Its default ammunition is a miniature tracking device that will mark a target's position on your compass. The dart is lightweight enough that enemies will not notice being hit with it. Okay, so this is this is the infamous CT-180 then, huh? The spy has been spotted. Stay alert. Infamous. Yeah, we had uh, during the last game we there was those uh, CT-180s and 190s or something that they kept having to work with uh, or trying to work with. Yeah, I thought she noticed us there for a moment. Note! Note! Take the note! Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Hattori-san informed us that he observed a pattern a ninja placing chalk marks in front of three buildings in this area. We presume these marks are signals for agents making death drops of valuable items or information. Please try to locate and erase these marks so that we can redirect delivery sites of, you know, to, to, yeah, redirect delivery to sites of our choosing. Okay, that is that is clever. Yeah, as, as long as you know the symbol. Mm, well, if we just copy over the symbol and place it somewhere else. Hello? Come back here. Ah, damn it. Ah. Okay, there, yep, she spawned in. Credit card, really? Handkerchief. Yeah, it, it is really just <laughs> broken rubber band. It, it is really just <laughs> random stuff. But it does add a bit of a character to, well, these characters we've <laughs> murdered. Yeah. No, I, I get a bit surprised that a, a parody a spy power the game is way better spy game than most spy games. Well, to parody something correctly, you need to have a good understanding of it. 
Yes, but they took several extra miles. It sense again. A lot of heart and soul went into this. Yeah. Nope. I'd, I'd think a more accurate uh, description of the No One Lives Forever duology would be that it is more a loving, uh, yeah, a loving parody or a love letter to the franchise or to the, to the franchise of old spy movies and such. That hurt. Oh. Damn it. I can definitely see, especially with a hint of comedy. What? Okay, you came in from the roofs behind me. Yep. Forgot that that's the lean button. Let's realize, how many katanas are you, are you carrying right now? Uh, probably to get a, about a hundred bucks if I sold them all as metal scrap. Well... Time to wheel free of them. <laughs> or go full Grievous. Oh, hello. You only have two arms. I was more thinking of uh, like a sword in each hand and one in your mouth. Yeah. Also, oh. that is the secret ninja markings for dead drops. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah, if you were to look for, if you want to look for an outright parody of spy stuff, look for Austin Powers. Yeah, hmm. Many love Austin Powers, but I'm I'm the one that's a bit mixed on it. Like the office, I find fun with it, but. Tell time by the slit of a cat's eye. That only works during daylight. Besides, what happens if you don't have a cat handy? That's why I always carry dried fish. Isn't it easier just to wear a watch? Never mind, I'll go ask somebody else. Dried fish? What the hell? To attract cats? Uh, yeah. yeah. What? But again, that wouldn't work <laughs> unless it's daytime. Come on, let me through. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Get around this room. Yeah. Is this, is this how big your room is? Uh, stretch it out a bit more that way. Yeah, you need to be a room. What was that sound? Okay, so these shurikens will also work as a distraction, sort of. So just let me out. Let me out. Never. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there wasn't even enough sound to lure her back. Okay. Come on this way. And then again, the. Hmm, never mind. The sound was in front of her, not be, yeah, not it was behind her, but not far enough to lure her back. I feel like I just realized I want to say something earlier, but I got interrupted by the NBCs. I only forgot what what it was. All oh, right, about, about Austin Powers. I have found. Some things humorous about it, but I never liked the main character, Austin himself. And no, they like and you're you fat bastard. Yeah, it, it, that's one thing with parodies. It can all it can often overdo it on a lot of things. <clears throat> yeah, like oh gosh, what was his name? Uh, Dr. Evil? Oh no, he's fine. Another villain that was obsessed with gold. Oh, Goldfinger. I heard that. Oh yeah, his name was Goldfinger. Was it a gold member? 
Ow. Actually, I think it was gold member or something because he had a golden dick. Yeah, and he I also dislike since uh, he's one of the few people that almost made me gag whenever he was to eat his skin flat. Yeah, <laughs> that was meant. That's meant to squeak people out. And he's supposed to be Dutch, which I'd almost take offense at, if it wasn't yeah. for the fact that it's such an obvious parody. Yeah, I was to say that as well, says, remember people, I'm poor Dutch! <laughs> Let's see. My dear Isako, I realize uh, I have not always been the most ideal mentor and that you serve me more out of a sense of duty than any real allegiance. I can't say I particularly blame you. All the same, I hope you can understand how important you are to me. Honor and competence are rare enough among the arrogant, law-abiding hypocrites I am sworn to terrorize. In our industry, they are all but non-existent. Happy birthday to the director. Huh. I wouldn't have expected that from him. But, uh, yeah, the timer went off, so... Uh... Yeah, let, let's, let's find a bit of a spot to hide. And then we'll call it over. We'll call it here. So save game. The, yeah, the spy is here. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely looking forward to streaming more of this. I'm looking forward to see more. Wait, did you save? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. There it is. Okay. So uh, let's look for someone to raid. Uh, Shorter than usual episode, but that's because we, well, we had very many origins to finish off first. Okay, moving I here. I say noon. <laughs> they seem helpless enough. Let's see. Oh, that's not supposed to be full screen. Let me downsize that. Task manager can go. And, of course, change this to, where is it? That. Okay, <laughs> move to Twitch, mute it, and let's see, who are online? We have Touch Scaly Tail, who is streaming Backpack Hero, not a game I've heard of, I think. I, I heard, I mean, I heard of that name recently from uh, Falcon. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon? Let's see, then we have Halloween4545 who is streaming Bayonetta 3. Uh, I would, I would be, uh, uh, I, <laughs> how to word this, I, I'd rather want to avoid spoilers after the game, so I'm probably not going there. Then we have New Gundam Gaming who is streaming Sonic Frontiers. I, what I've heard of that game, I haven't heard anything about it since it released, but Expectations on that game are a bit hit and miss because of the way they presented it. So I'll just wait for reviews to come in and such. Uh, let's see. Ram the Wolf is streaming VR chat, which could mean they had just about anything. Uh, Lil Tree Live is, well, live with Genshin Impact at the moment. Then we have Armchair General, who is streaming Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair. Okay, oh, that's no. a mouthful. Oh no! Now that song stuck in my head again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I I said I'd, I'd show you something after stream, but I've I'm. What was it again? Illuminati. Uh, yeah, Illuminati. Okay, I'll I'll just I'll just do that after this. Okay, that's the people that I have followed at the moment. Other than that, we have Ruford, who is streaming King's Bounty 2. Brother Monroe, oh. streaming Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I think we've seen them before. And it looks like Douglas, <laughs> Dog McDog, or whatever, the, that, that, the dog uh, VTuber is going live as well now. Uh, then we have someone else streaming Sonic Frontiers, Cothrix. Koth and Wolf Machina, who is streaming Rimworld. Uh, let's see, Cosmic Tear, Fallout New Vegas. Any of these sound interesting? Or mm. shall we go raid Lil Tree? Lil Tree or Touch Scaly Tail? 
Uh, it's been a while since we've raided you know, little trees, so let's go raid them. Uh, let's see, the site is already muted. So just head over to theirs, copy the name, just in case. Uh, channel, and there we go, slash raid, paste. But before we start that off, as usual, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, uh, thank you Noon, for, yeah, for watching along, chatting along a bit, and, well, <laughs> managing to find the thing that's well, was breaking the game. And uh, thank you as always, of course, as well, Dukir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, done with Rayman Origins now. Started with Ray no, with Ray I almost said Rayman 2. No, no one lives forever 2 is what we started with. And it's it's looking to be quite fun. Yeah. That Very good be... start. For some reason that was in caps lock. Don't think that would matter, but oh well, starting the raid. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'll have, uh, again, due to work uh, scheduling, I won't be able to stream for the coming three days because it will cover both of the time slots that we do, unless we do really early, like midnight early or something, <laughs> or 6 a.m. But I don't think either of us would want that. Yeah, I... I... But yeah, that, that would mean I have like thirty minutes to wake up. Uh, yeah, maybe I could try some solo streams, but we'll just have to see about that. Uh, for now, things are looking up for the weekend. Uh, Beanie has said that he's interested in collabing a, a Deep Rock Galactic stream there, so that is three players already, and plus we can probably find someone. Uh, among his crew who would want to join in as well. Or may maybe Noon would like to be number four with that, or anyone else. It will post it. <clears throat> but, yeah. Yeah, well, I never heard Noon's voice. <laughs> uh, he's, in, he's in voice chat now and then with, uh, with Hex. But yeah, for now... Uh, the weekend is we, when we are streaming next, hopefully the you know, milestone, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for the NES. <laughs>